working hard, nine to five, yeah. two jobs to survive. She's my super hard. What's up, YouTube fam? Welcome back to my channel. This is Nicole. If you're new here, my channel is all about home DIY and decor hacks and tips. So if that's something that you're interested in, please subscribe to my channel for more videos and more content on how to keep your home clean, neat, organized, and cute. In today's video, I'm in the process of making over my closet, my closet in my bedroom, and I want to show you guys a few hacks on how to fold and store your clothing when you're doing um, either a closet makeover or when you're just trying to get organized in the best possible way to save space and make your make your closet look kind of like a store. That's what I'm going for with this. So in a couple of weeks, tops, I'll be posting my closet makeover and giving you guys a full tour of the closet. But for today, it's just going to show you a few tips, uh, a few tips, <laughs> sorry, on how you can best fold and store certain clothing items. So stay tuned. Make sure you guys subscribe if you have not already. Um, thank you so much to everyone who has subscribed so far. Let's get into today's video. Okay, so sweaters like this to avoid those like type of, um, you know, dents and nicks in your sweaters. This is good for any like sweaters or long sleeve tops. So first what you want to do is fold the top or sweater in half like this. So we're, we're trying to save space. We're trying to make our closets look neat and organized and this is a folding slash hanging um, hack or tip. So fold your sweater or hanger in half like this. Then you're gonna put the hanger anchored like this. Okay, so the hook part is right underneath the underarm of it. So then you cross one side over it and pull it underneath the hanger. Make sure it's all neat, you know. The goal is to try to keep our clothes in as good condition and ready to wear as possible so we have less work to do when it's time to actually pick out and, and put it on the outfit. Then you fold the other part, the sleeve part, over just like that and under. So fold the body part, torso part over, and then the sleeve part over and tuck it underneath the hanger. This allows for a nice secure um, sweater or long sleeve shirt to be in your closet and it also looks neat and doesn't look bulky. Um, I'll show you guys in my full closet makeover how my closet looked before and how these hacks have actually saved space. Um, and it made the closet look a little more neat and organized and just kind of clean versus having certain things be longer than other things hanging over to other layers of the closet things like that. So we're going to try this again on a sweater, a thicker sweater. So we're going to do the same exact thing. And literally you can do this with any, doesn't have to be a turtleneck. I know most of these are turtlenecks that I'm showing here, but it can be any long sleeve top. Um, so you wanna fold it in half like this. Again, make sure it's neat, as neat as possible. Smooth out any wrinkles before placing the hanger. Place the hanger anchored like this um, with the hook again underneath the armpit. Fold the torso part up and over underneath, tucking it under the hanger. Um, make sure you pull the hanger out. Make sure you're securing these parts as you tuck it and then the sleeve part like this. So these, um, the, the key is to not have stuff falling off the hangers, to have things nice, you know, neat and um, as flat as possible in the closet. I hate when things are falling down. Next hack we're going to get into is denim jeans or pants. So folding these, there's multiple ways to store them in your closet, but for me, I'd like to hang them. Um, this will help with any, you know, preventing any wrinkles or help, you know, get the wrinkles out over time. But first you're going to just fold the um, jeans in half like this. And I'm doing everything um, with the pockets facing outward, the back pockets facing outward. So fold your denim like this. Okay, then you're going to... Right here, I was trying to figure out um, some of these hacks I kind of learned from other people. So I was trying to figure out the correct way. So make sure you're watching closely on how to do this. So then slide the hanger um, through the jeans like this. Then what you're going to do is you're going to grab the back center hook, the belt loop, put it through the hook of the hanger. And then you're going to um, pretty much pull the... Uh, crotch area of the denim jeans or the pants down and you'll see a little bit closer in a second how it looks 
kind of like this and then you're gonna see when you hang it in the closet how it kind of comes together to look seamless but just make sure you get any wrinkle just like this get, give me guys another little close-up look and just like this I wanted to lay it on the bed so you guys can get the full view but just smooth it out and it looks really clean and you guys will see um, how it all comes together so these are a few of the pans excuse the left side of the closet I'm still working on this I'm still getting it together but just putting all of them down I kind of tried to color coordinate Again, I'm still working on my closet makeover and I will be putting that all together for you guys once I kind of figure things out. I'm just taking it a step at a time. So this is how the jeans looks, you guys. It looks so clean. Um, again, jeans, pants, any bottoms, um, long bottoms that you have, you can do this with. But it just makes your closet look so much better, so much more organized. And it just makes you inspired to actually pick out an outfit every day. So let me know in the comments below if this is looking satisfying to you. If it's looking better than your jeans are looking in your closet. Or if you have a better solution to storing these, let me know in the comments below. But I prefer to hang jeans this way versus rolling them. I'll roll them if I'm traveling, but I prefer to do it this way for closet storage. It makes things visible, keeps the wrinkles out, and it's super easy. But just a way to think out of the box when you're trying to store and hang your jeans or your pants. Okay, next up is your activewear leggings. So these are Glamorina. Obviously, I have to plug my activewear brand. Because I am an activewear designer, I have so many leggings. Um, and so this is a way to fold your any leggings that you have, any um, pajama pants. Really, this method is so perfect. If you are a fan of you know organizing and, and clothing organizing, you know folding and tucking your garments is so important to one who wants to take a lot of time to fold a piece only for you know if your stack of folded clothes falls over then the the folding comes out so all your hard work gets lost so you want to fold it like this fold it in half and then fold it in three um you know three equal parts like this so and then you're going to tuck it under so just like this and i'm going to show you i'm going to toss it in the air so you see once I have this neatly folded and created this pocket, if these are in the stack, see, it's not coming, um, you know, open. And I think that's the key. It's like, you know, if you're finished washing clothes and you want to fold things just like this, this is a great method. Um, let me know if you, in the comments below, below if you guys want me to do like pajama, pajama shirts or, you know, short sleeve shirts because I haven't done that or covered that in this video. But it's super easy as well as underwear. Um, there's a lot of lint on the back of these pants. These are from our, I think, 2018 collection. So they've been through a lot, but still in great condition. Make sure you guys check out Glamorina, glamorina.com if you're not familiar. I'll put it in the description below. But again, it's a black owned activewear brand. We have high quality, affordable activewear. So I'm doing the same exact thing for this pair of leggings, I'm folding it in half and then folding it in three equal parts. And creating that pocket I did this over because I wanted my Glamorina logo to show even though I know these are Glamorina leggings when when I look in the closet I still want my Glamorina logos to show it's just the OCD thing where I want all of them to you know to be able to see the front logo when I'm looking through to pick out which pair I want to wear okay so the last thing I'm going to show you guys in this video I have a lot of blazers a lot of jackets so I'm trying to figure this out so I'm going to show you how you can store these versus just hanging it up regular like this and putting it, the hanger on it and hanging it up that kind of takes up so much space and I hate when my jackets or long dresses kind of hang to the bottom because they usually are at the top layer of the closet I hate when they hang over so I want them to be short I don't want the, anything to be too long and I'll show you guys in my home make in my uh, closet makeover video what I mean by that but I just want everything to kind of look similar in size and nothing to be like off so something too long something too you know hanging over so what you want to do is make sure that the front of your jacket or blazer is buttoned or zipping and then turn it on the back like this and fold it in half Again, the key to, to getting things looking organized and neat and um, flat and safe um, space saving is making sure that things are flattened out. So flatten it out, make it neat. You know, that way when you go to wear it, it's not all wrinkled. Then you're gonna do something similar just like the um, long sleeve shirts and the um, sweaters. Put the hook of the hanger under the armpit anchored like this. Tuck in one, you know, the, the jacket pocket or the bottom of the jacket parts. Sorry for stuttering you guys. And then do the sleeve the same way. So it's very, very, very similar. It's just that when you have a jacket, you have more fabric. It's a little thicker. But smoothing it out and um, making sure it's um, not wrinkled. 
is the key to making it not look bulgy. So I'm gonna add this to my closet as well. I hope you guys found this useful. Um, I can't wait, this is how it's looking right now, but things are gonna come together so much more nicely, so I can't wait to show you guys my full closet makeover. guys thank you so much for watching this video i hope you stuck through it with me um comment below if you have subscribed to my channel also comment below if you have either tried any of these hacks in um folding clothing storage hacks comment that below or if there's anything that i haven't showed in this video if you have your own closet storage diy hacks or tips please leave me a comment and share it with me in the comments below because like i said in the intro i am redoing my closet i am making it over I feel like things have just gotten all over the place and hectic and I really want to just get organized. So whatever tips or advice that you have, let me know in the comments below so that when I'm doing this makeover, as I'm in the process, because it's going to take a couple of days, I can probably use those tips that you guys have. And I hope my tips were helpful to you. I will see you guys in my next video.